The launch of Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 has been catastrophic. And right now, as we speak, CIG is still working and investigating on the current issue right now. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go through some of the issues that we've been experiencing, whether it's the 19,000 errors, 60,000 errors, or the 15 or 16,000 errors. Just give some insight. And at the end, we're going to give you a status update on what's actually happening right now at this very moment. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you like more content like this. When it comes to the 19,000 error code, it says here that we are aware of the current tracking in the 19K and other login related errors and the causes behind them. Our teams are actively investigating the cause and we'll have more information when available. But currently, this appears to be caused due to extreme server load, so it may take some time for things to clear up. A great deal of changes were made to the way the game handles certain things. This is part of the growing pains as all our players come to see the new things added in the 3.18 patch. I have had reports of players able to get in after receiving these errors, but it may take several hours for that to happen. I can attest that that did happen for me. I did try initially um, for a bit, then I stopped and then a few hours later I was able to get in. All right, so it says, additionally, there have been a few reports that joining a friend after seeing a 60,015 error may resolve or at least allow for a login after. If you haven't already, please add information about your experience with these errors to the relevant issue council report, including what you have attempted that has allowed you to log in if applicable. Um, essentially what this is about is the load of users trying to get in at the same time has overwhelmed the systems. Reason being is in the P2, not as much players actually try to log in. You know, people, most people were waiting for it to go live. So they never really tested this exact scenario where essentially all of the player base is trying to get in at the same time. So it seems to be something new for them. So they need to figure this out. When it comes to the 60,015 error, it says here the error message that players receive after encountering this error is not showing the proper information in the notification window. The proper text should say requested location instance is full or not available. Additionally, there have been a few reports that joining a friend after seeing a 60,015 error may resolve or at least allow for a login later. So that's interesting. I haven't seen much of the 60,015 error but um let's go on to the 15,008 and 16,008 error this area appears when there is a service outage or when there is trouble connecting to the login service it is fairly common when our servers are under heavy traffic loads such as after a major patch or during an event and generally will be fixed with time there are also reports that some instances of this error are from the easy anti-cheat interaction and might be causing this error to appear. If you feel that this might be the case, try updating your graphics card driver and uninstalling and reinstalling the, the Epic Game Launcher if you have it installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include the link to what I just read in the description down below. So now when it comes to the current status of the live service right now, it says that it is in a partial outage right now. The platform is operational. The persistent universe is under partial outage as well as the electronic access. The information they gave us here is since the launch of Star Citizen Alpha 3.18.0, our team have been monitoring a number of issue players have been encountering while attempting to log into the game. These have primarily manifested in the form of 19,003 and 19,004 with a mix of other similar codes. While monitoring those issues, the team have been able to tune and make adjustments to the entitlement process flow to ensure that a large portion of the player attempts will be successful and able to make it into the PU. However, at a point in the early morning UTC, the environment entered into a state which would require a more disruptive recovery process. Okay, so I did notice that when I was able to get in, the servers were super smooth, but everything was super slow in terms of responsiveness, right? I would call my ship and it would have to wait about 15 minutes before my ship actually gets called. 
So the servers were in a dormant state, but the game was actually running very smooth, but nothing was actually working. Okay, so that is basically it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more status update on the 318 build. I will see you on the next video.